the CAT scan will allow the first look ever at the interior of this 145 million year old Diplodocus neck bone. The different densities of rock within the bone are invisible to the naked eye. But the scanner clearly reveals that the bones in life were feather light. There's cavities all through this. Like car tires, the bones are pneumatic. They are 60 to 70 percent filled with air. Wadle suspects that the bones were not only light and easy to lift, they also helped get oxygen directly to the muscles, fed by a system of air sacs throughout the neck, similar to birds today. Sword pods were probably about 10 percent lighter than they would have been otherwise. Now, those effects ripple through the entire biology of the animal. You don't need as much oxygen. You can grow faster because you don't have to put on as much mass. Just because they're hollow doesn't mean the neck bones aren't strong. Air-filled cavity design is widespread in engineering, from sneakers to the strong neck-like framework of a construction crane arm. The material that's get replaced is not serving any structural purpose. Bighorn sheep are butting heads at very high velocities, very huge forces involved. Their horns are pneumatic, so pneumatic doesn't mean weak. The sauropods had hit on just the right mix to become a freak of nature. Hollow bones, plenty of food, and a huge size to deter predators. They had everything going for them. You've got dinosaurs all over the place. You have big ones, you have small ones. Some of them eat meat, some of them eat plants. And everything's going just fine because they are well adapted to their environments. But then all of a sudden, the rules change. 65 million years ago, striking with the energy of 100 million tons of TNT, an asteroid brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a sudden, shocking end. The heat pulse from the blast circled the globe and raised the temperature to 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit, killing the biggest dinosaurs and more within hours. The world was an oven set on broil. The abundant vegetation was gone. All of the big animals on Earth were at a huge disadvantage because they were big. Because they needed so much food and there was so little food around, they couldn't survive. Mammals, on the other hand, found themselves at a huge advantage because they were so small. Every species over 20 pounds, 70% of all life on Earth, went extinct. The conditions for life on Earth were radically reset. Suddenly, tiny, warm-blooded mammals, the ancestors of rodents, found their ticket to success. Today, rodents are found on every continent but Antarctica, in over 2,000 species with billions of individuals. And their descendants, every mammal on Earth, including us, would fill up every size niche in the world. Extinction over 65 